Okay, so get this, right. We're diving into something today that sounds kind of wild at first. Like what if you could take, you know, a spreadsheet and turn it into an actual piece of software? It's really interesting when you think about what that could mean, especially for businesses. We're talking about potentially changing the game, particularly for those who live and breathe by complex spreadsheets, but maybe don't have the resources for traditional software development. Yeah, and the platform we're looking at today is called Molnify. They claim to do just that, take your Excel spreadsheets, no coding or anything, and turn them, get this, into web applications. And we're not just talking about simple stuff here. We're seeing companies use this to build some pretty sophisticated applications, things that can really streamline operations, improve how they interact with customers, even open up totally new business opportunities. I gotta be honest, that sounds almost too good to be true. Are you telling me I can take like my sales projection spreadsheet with all the formulas and formatting and everything and just boom, turn it into an app that my whole team can use? Exactly. Imagine a company like, let's say IF, they're a big insurance firm in the Nordics, they actually use Molnify to convert over 20 of their Excel models into web applications. Way better internal processes, AD, they improved how they connect with their customers. Okay, that's a pretty compelling example, but hold on a sec. How does this even work? I mean, transforming a spreadsheet into a dynamic web app and you're telling me there's no code involved, that needs some explaining. Absolutely. At its core, what Molnify does is bridge the gap between how spreadsheets speak and how web applications speak and they do it through something surprisingly simple. Okay, I'm intrigued. Hit me with it. Color coding. Wait, color coded, that's the secret sauce here. Believe it or not, yeah. It's actually pretty clever. You assign colors to specific cells in your spreadsheet, yeah. and those colors tell Molnify what those cells should do in the web app. So for example, green cells might be where the user puts in information, while red cells could be for displaying the results of calculations. So let's say I wanted to create, I don't know, it's a simple calculator. Our listeners could use it to figure out their potential return on investment for, say, a new business venture. How would I even start doing that in Molnify? It's really intuitive, actually. So you'd have a cell where the user would input their initial investment, right? You'd color that cell green in your spreadsheet that tells Molnify it's an input field. Then the cell where the calculated ROI is displayed, you'd color that one red for output. And Molnify takes those colored cells and just like magically transforms them into interactive elements in the web app. That's the beauty of it. It sees those colors and it automatically creates all the behind the scenes code. Okay, now I'm starting to see the possibilities here. <laughs> But I gotta say, I have more questions. Color coding alone can't be enough for a whole web application, right? I mean, what about more complex stuff? Like if you want interactive charts or those drop-down menus, or even if you want the app to like send email automatically, how does Molnify handle that? That's where things get even more interesting. Molnify uses what they call UI strings. Basically, these are like simple instructions that you add to your spreadsheet cells. They give you finer control over how things look and behave in the web app. So there's a whole other layer of customization going on under the hood, even though it still starts with the spreadsheet. Yeah. For example, let's say you want to have a slider in your app that controls a variable in your spreadsheet, like for that ROI calculator. Maybe you want a slider to adjust the projected growth rate. You would just add a UI string next to the relevant cell with a specific format, something like slider 0 20%. And Molnify takes that and just creates a slider that goes from 0 to 20%. Yep, that's it. These UI strings give you a surprising amount of control over the look and feel of your app. You can do drop-down menus, format currency values, all without writing any code. So we've gone from color-coded cells to like interactive sliders and all without even leaving the spreadsheet world. Right, that's what makes Molnify so cool. It uses what you already know about spreadsheets and lets you apply it to building web apps. Okay, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm already thinking ahead. Like, what about even more advanced features? You're thinking connecting to external databases, pulling in live data, that kind of thing. Exactly. That's where things could get really powerful, especially for businesses. Absolutely. Molnify actually offers these actions you can use right there in your spreadsheet turn app. Actions? What are we talking about here? So picture this. You want your app to automatically grab the latest exchange rates, right? You'd use Molnify's API request. Okay, APIs, I've heard of those. But wait, hold on. Are we still saying all this happens just within the spreadsheet? I don't need to know how to code any API stuff. You got it. Molnify handles all the complex stuff in the background. You just focus on how you want your app to work, what it looks like for the user. This is blowing my mind a little. It's like Molnify takes something simple like spreadsheets and makes them as powerful as a whole development platform. That's a great way to put it. And it's a big reason why so many businesses are excited about this. It means they can innovate faster, react to changes in the market more easily, and their teams can come up with solutions without needing a bunch of IT specialists for every little thing. What about real world results? 
results. What are companies actually doing with this Molnify thing? Well, we talked about if that insurance company. But check this out. There's a company called Gronborg's Big. They do building and energy efficiency. They're using these super detailed Excel files for like sales calculations. I can relate to that. These files were clunky, hard to use out in the field. So they use Molnify to turn those spreadsheets into web apps that their salespeople could use on their phones or tablets, anything. No more emailing spreadsheets back and forth or trying to make edits on a tiny phone screen. Exactly. It streamlined everything, made things way more efficient, fewer errors. I love these examples. It really shows how Molnify bridges the gap between spreadsheets and like proper software. It's not about replacing one with the other. It's about using the best of both to come up with something really new. It's about empowering more people to be what you might call citizen developers. People with real expertise in their field who already use spreadsheets, they can now build their own applications. That's a powerful idea for sure. We get so caught up in complexity, looking for the newest, most cutting edge tech, that we forget about the power of simplicity and making things easy for everyone to use. You know, it really makes you think about how this whole idea of accessible development, how that changes the future of software in general. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it used to be that you had to be like a coding whiz to build anything in the digital world, right? Yeah. But now we're seeing a shift it's less about the code itself and more about being able to solve problems, mm. to think creatively. It, it's kind of like, remember back when personal computers first came out, suddenly you didn't need to be an engineer to you know, actually use a computer? Exactly. Great analogy. And just like PCs change the way we work, how we communicate, these new development platforms could totally change how businesses do what they do, how they come up with new ideas. I think Moldify is a great example of what happens when you get rid of those old assumptions, when you embrace simplicity and making things easier for everyone. It shows that sometimes the best innovations come from the most unexpected places. It's like we get so focused on complexity, always searching for that next big thing, that we forget to look at what's right in front of us. I couldn't agree more. Sometimes it's not about reinventing the wheel, it's about taking what we already have and making it work better, making it smoother, making it so that everyone can use it. So for everyone listening, the takeaway today is pretty simple. Don't underestimate the power of a good spreadsheet. It might just be the key to unlocking your next big idea, to making your work life easier, even to transforming your entire industry. Who knows? What will you build?